Thank you for joining us at the Palette Fine Wine video blog. My name is Stuart Langer and I'm your host. I've talked many times recently in the blogs and in my emails and my newsletters, things like that, um, about the 2007 vintage out of California. Wow, is it spectacular. You've got to get on board. These wines are going to pass you by, and you're going to wish that you had bought more of them. Really quite impressed with the vintage uh, on every level. There's been only a couple of wines I haven't liked. Um, and what I've, what's really happened is that wines that in years past were just okay buys are actually really good buys this year. I mean, the wines are just showing fabulous. So really start checking out that 2007 vintage. Uh, this is a wine called Robert Craig. It's their Affinity Napa Valley Cabernet 07. It was rated 96 points by the wine advocate but here's the kicker it's only $44.99 what an outstanding buy in that price point I'm not necessarily a ratings freak or a ratings follower but it usually gives you something to go with my personal impression we opened this one uh, two nights ago um, I would have rated it between 93 and 94 points in that range still yet though at $45 93 to 94 point Napa Valley Cab that's a really good buy, guys. It's one that you should definitely check out. Um, on the second day, uh, the wine showed pretty well, but I wasn't overly blown away with it. To me, it had a little bit of plumminess coming out of it, or even to the point of raisin on the nose. Um, and so then, now, I, this is the third day this wine has been open, and what I'm finding is... The nose is beautiful. The wine is gorgeous. It's, I think it's showing better today. And that being said, the wine is extremely young, uh, so we kind of killed an infant here. Um, I would, I think this wine could definitely handle five to eight years of age without any issue, um, and maybe even benefit from it. Uh, I'm telling a lot of folks when they're buying these nicer wines right now, set on the 07s, drink your 05s, or even better yet, drink your 06s, because the 06s are pretty soft. The 05s are finally starting to come around. And 07, honestly, I'd love to give them more time. I just find the wines are pretty young, but this wine's drinking really good right now. Definitely getting a little bit of that cedar box kind of coming through. Definitely dark fruit, plummy fruit. Definitely just has that Cabernet nose. Really, really. I mean, this wine's worth the price of admission just to sit here and smell it. I could smell it all day long. It's absolutely beautiful. Mm. Really nice palate. It just coats the mouth. Lots of fruit going on. Um, it actually, what surprised me about this wine as much as anything over the last uh, three days watching this wine evolve is the acidity of the wine. This wine actually has some. Unlike many uh, Napa Calif you know, or, or just tech California wines in general that lack some acidity on the palate whenever you're drinking the wines. This one actually has some. I think this one would be great with food. Um, I could see it uh, going with a porterhouse or a steak that's kind of fatty because of that acidity, not just because Cabernet goes well with it. I think it would help break down some of the fat that you're getting. The tannins are soft, really. Mmm. This wine is impressive. Um, it's pretty limited. Got some in stock. I can get some more for now. Yeah, I don't know how long it's going to last. Robert Craig Affinity Napa Valley Cabernet. It's $44.99. I highly recommend this wine. If you're in the cab market, uh, even if this is maybe a stretch for you as far as price point, you definitely want to check this one out. You'll see why some of these wines are more expensive. Or in this case, I think this wine may be underpriced. It's a great buy, guys. Check it out. Robert Craig Affinity, $44.99. Um, hopefully it'll be here for a while at Palette, but we'll see how long it lasts.